Hello everybody, Mothership Sword here, and welcome to Dauntless. This will probably be one of the very few, or one of the many videos I do of this game, because I actually enjoy this game very, very much so. Um, I am playing on PC, because it's easier to record, but I am using an Xbox controller. So if you do hear uh, pressing, it's most likely f my loud-ass A button, or, uh, and like X buttons. Um, it doesn't seem like the audio is picking it up, which is nice. But today, I'm pretty far in the game, if you can't tell. I'm going to be taking on the Heroic Deadeye Quill Shot. Which uh, I need to do for the uh, elements of heroism. And also need to do for the, uh, for the 47th. But basically, I'm trying to complete this game... And I'm doing it pretty quickly, because if I go to Mastery, and I'm in the Monsters tab, uh, we got the Boris, the Charog, the Drask, Embermane, Ganasher, Hellion, Karbak, Koshi, Nezaga, Pangar, Quillshot, Riftstalker, Shriek, Skarn, Sc Scrave, uh, sorry, my bad, <laughs> Stormclaw, and then we have two Undiscovered, and then Vormir. These are the last two I need to face, pretty much. Uh, and and I finished this game. And I, I'll probably keep playing it because it's actually so much fun. Uh, and I have a lot of fun doing it. But uh, let's get into it. Pursuit. Heroic Quill Shot. So, for a lot of you that don't know uh, what this game is while this game is loading. Basically, you spawn into this world with just like the training set of gear, which is normal. And going through this, there are a couple weapon classes. There's the swords, which I like a lot. And um, I've been trying to expand a little bit, but um, the swords are basically all around. They can be fast. Oh, well, I guess I'll explain the weapons while we're loading in. Basically, uh, the swords can be uh, fast and a little bit slower with heavy attacks, which uh, on an Xbox controller, I'm not sure what it is for PC. I didn't bother learning. Um... X is light, Y is uh, heavy, which I mainly do heavy attacks with swords because uh, it doesn't cost any stamina and they do more damage. Uh, and they're really not too much slower. And then there's the uh, hammer, which is really slow, but does a absolute shite ton of damage. Um, remain muted. Okay. Um... And basically, the entire premise of uh, of the hammer is to destroy parts, or no, is to stagger, which basically means knock it on the ground and stun it for a little bit. Well, the, the sword's all around, it, it doesn't do really any. And then I guess while I'm in here, I can go into loadout and look. Or can I? Will it let me? Um... I guess I, I can't. Alrighty then. Um, and then there is also the axe. Or no, the like the chain, the like chain graves or whatever they're called. But basically it's just like two little small axes on chains. And the heavy attacks have a lot of range and they're pretty fast, but they use stamina. Um... And then there's the axe, which is good for breaking parts. Uh, and they're a little slower, but also does a lot of damage, but a little bit faster than the axe. And then there is also the uh, pikes, which I've been starting to get into a little bit. They are very, very fast. What? Oh, no. Okay. Lag. Yay. Um, They are very fast, but... Uh, have yeah basically they're very fast but uh, do very little damage uh, but the thing is you can dish out a lot of damage very fairly quickly wow there's a lot of lag going on here I'm gonna have to turn my settings down this is my first time playing on PC I probably should have tested this before but that's why we do everything together isn't it 
you know, my teammates threw up a flare, and I'm not entirely sure where they are. Well, they're not up there, so they must be behind me. Oop. Oh, there he is. He's right there. So, the quill shot basically has quills that he shoots from his back, and your entire goal is to break the absolute crap out of him. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is my first time fighting this guy. Holy crap, he's strong. You know... It was laggier trying to get to him than it is fighting him, which is very interesting. Wow, that's that's interesting. Uh, the Rockfall Skarn does that a lot. Oh yeah, and the, you also have these lanterns, and um, mine, if I hold LB, it does this. Pew! I shoot lightning. If I press LB, it gives me a slight damage buff. Yeah, but armor and swords do... Uh, different damage and give different uh, status effects. There's also how There's also cells and uh, that give you uh, certain strengths as well. Oh crap. We. There's also a special ability. Mine's called Overdrive, and I basically get a small range to the sword uh, when I swing it. I get a dash. We and it also increases damage a little bit. I also believe it increases movement speed a small bit as well, which is really good for heaven. Holy crap. See, I, I focused way more on weapons in this game than I did armor. Oh, here's a good time to explain this. Uh, these on the, uh, on the right hand side of your screen, being those little things that are like, uh, shots, uh, basically is like a stim shot and it'll revive you, but this, um, uh, percentage meter in the top right hand corner of your screen is uh, a danger meter and when that gets full you can't uh, you can't use uh, like your teammates can't revive you so it's really good to save your revives uh, until that happens or if it happens which it's seeming like it will ow Oh. Oh. oh, and these little orbs, they give you fire, res uh, fire resistance, um, but they also do give you a small damage buff, which is, and a uh, speed buff, which is very good. Lightning. So basically, this guy's entire stick is he has quills that you have to break off to um, do more damage to him. Ow, that hurt. See, I always get too focused on doing as much damage as possible that I don't dodge as much, which is a big problem on my part. Wow, that music is very loud. Let's just, like, uh... Oh, well, shit. The, yeah, it says danger. Basically, we can't revive uh, our teammates now, which really does suck if you're like me and did not focus on armor. Because uh, it's way harder to stay alive. Because I'm a big stoop. Ah. Uh. This is where you gotta be very focused. And for whatever reason, that got me. Okay. See, some attacks are very weird in the sense uh, they may not be deflected towards you, but if it hits you. Oh, and you can also make them flee, 
which you have to find them eventually, but it brings the percentage down so you can revive your teammates. Which is very good. Now, I have no idea what's going to happen. We're probably going to get our asses handed to us by this thing, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, we made him flee, so he might be able to kill him. His percentage just increasingly keeps going down. Ah, oh, damn it. Those stupid quills, they're so hard to dodge. They're very unpredictable. Oh. I'm gonna revive this guy as fast as possible. Be a good teammate. Cool. It, it also makes a little no sense when you dodge. You can like literally dodge through him. Oh, that's a good uh, passive for lightning. Is uh, it, it staggers them like what I just did right there. It just basically electrocutes them, throws, throws them to the ground for like a second or two. It's very helpful. Um, and it can get you out of some sticky situations, but not very, not very often. I, will, I can say that for sure. Oh God. Just no. Wow, three of us are down. And I don't have any revives left. Oh, crap. Now, this game can get a little glitchy, where in a sense, it will, uh... This thing may not attack the last guy for whatever reason, but it looks like it is. It's a weird glitch that it does where it won't attack the last guy. And especially if they have guns, which is another weapon class that I didn't really explain, but it's not as popular. And I honestly don't like them that much. If you somehow manage to be the last one and you have guns, most of the time it will not attack you for whatever reason. Now, I think this guy can do it. Um, I got my ass handed to me. Uh, let's just hope we can do it. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, dodge your heart out. I believe in you, dude. Look, yeah, see the axe? It just did 1,000 damage right there. And then you can also throw the axe, which is a very good special move. Uh, there's also move lists, which, uh, light attacks are X, um, the triple ele elements are a combo attack, the repeating elements is a combo attack at a, as, a, as well, and the rising elements is just spam Y. Um, the YY and then X repeating is pretty good, it's just not very practical to use, which I'm kind of curious how this guy's doing, um, except it won't let me out of the menu main menu for whatever reason yay had to switch to a mouse for a second because controllers aren't 100% working right now yay I still want to point out that the fact it was laggier when we weren't fighting him which is pretty interesting and this axe guy seems like he knows what he's doing Um, and, yeah, if you guys want me to go over, uh, like, uh, my, my weapon builds, like, the ones that I use, I guess I could go over this one right now. Uh, Valiant Overdrive, Reactive Hilt is really good. Um, and then Cunning Cell, which grants a chance to deal du uh, double damage, and then Stamina is always a problem, so Endurance Cell, increase max damage. I'm using a Hell, uh, Hell Plate, which basically gives me, um... Uh, those orbs that you saw earlier. Uh, oh, that guy died, didn't he? Oh, no, wait, he's getting back up. I believe in you. That's it. That was, like, his first down, too. Honestly, I feel like he's got this. Um. And the chest plate is, uh. Uh, orbs give, 
uh, like I said, some speed and some damage. Then we got the uh, this thing's helmet, which I can't exactly remember what it does. Oh, it has uh, it gives increase incre Wait, he killed him? Well, shit. We. Nice. Well, that guy just saved my ass. All right. Well, um, thank you to that guy. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's been fun. And bye.